When I was first scouted to model, I was 13, and I was wearing a really baggy t-shirt that I had printed out like a picture of a frog with my name on it that I made at the Science Center. So I wasn't exactly the most um, fashionable person, and now I feel pretty comfortable, but it took a while for sure. Yeah, my first gig was actually with uh, another DJ, and he told me to go on for a little bit because he had to go to the bathroom, so I was like freaking out, but I took over anyway, and um, the club owner, was there and he saw me and he was like, yeah, you know, you're pretty good. You should, uh, you should play here yourself. The other DJ was kind of like, uh, hmm. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of girls um, that are DJing the kind of style that I play. I think there's definitely a connection between my fashion and the music that I like. Kind of picking things that I like and then mashing it up. I feel like I change a lot, like I'm kind of a chameleon. Sometimes I'll be a little crazy and in your face with my outfits and other times I'll be refined. I really like high fashion and then other times I just like being a complete tomboy and I go anywhere in that, between that and sometimes a mix of both. <laughs> you can really mix up things that are more affordable with high end stuff and make it look really fashionable. I like to wear comfortable clothes when I DJ because I like jumping around and when I can I, I usually get on the booth and like spray everyone with champagne. I try to enjoy the moment um, but I also do think about the future a lot so up until now I've always had sort of like an idea of what I'm gonna do. Later when I was modeling I didn't know I was gonna be a DJ. You can kind of plan but at the same time you know you can't be too strict with with an idea of the future because you really don't know what's going to happen. As long as you keep doing, then something's going to come up. You have to risk things in life in order to get something big.